Paul O'Grady's celebrity friends turned out to honor the star less than a year after his tragic death. The television presenter died at the age of 67 in March this year, with his husband describing his death as unexpected but peaceful. Announcing the news to fans, devastated widower Andre Portasio said, It is with great sadness that I inform you that Paul has passed away unexpectedly but peacefully yesterday evening. We ask, at this difficult time, that whilst you celebrate his life you also respect our privacy as we came to terms with this loss. He will be greatly missed by his loved ones, friends, family, animals and all those who enjoyed his humor, wit and compassion. I know that he would want me to thank you for all the love you have shown him over the years. On Thursday night, some of Andre was joined by some of Paul's closest friends at a special evening to honor the late star with the likes of Amanda Holden, Carol Vorderman, Janet Street Porter and Alan Carr turning out to pay their respects to the much-loved TV icon. More than 320 guests packed into the Bloomsbury Ballroom in London where Andre gave an emotional speech about his late husband. For the ceremony, her Majesty Queen Camilla also paid a moving tribute to Paul which was read out by Calendar Girls actress Celia Imrie. Her Majesty was unable to attend the service in person due to state events. Paul had a close relationship with Her Majesty who at the time said she was deeply saddened by her death. In a statement, the Queen said, deeply saddened to hear of the death of Paul O'Grady who worked closely with Her Majesty in support of Battersea, providing lots of laughter and many waggy-tailed memories. While the night may have been emotional, Paul's friend and fellow comedian Julian Clary read a eulogy which had everybody in the audience in fits of laughter. Britain's Got Talent star Amanda Holden was seen posing for photos ahead of the event with pal Alan Carr. The pals complimented each other with their velvet blue suit jackets for the occasion. Meanwhile, former Countdown star Carol Vorderman reflected the somber mood as she wore a figure-hugging black dress as she remembered her close friend. Paul was laid to rest following a funeral in Kent in April before those who turned out to celebrate him flocked to Port Lim Safari Park for the wake. Tony Blair's wife, Cherie was also in attendance at the memorial as she rocked a dress which was decorated by red hearts. The barrister and writer swept her brunette dresses off her face as she arrived at the moving event. Cherie, however, wasn't the only unexpected face at the event as former Labour leader Ed Miliband was also in attendance. Paul's friend Lizzie Cundy also attended as she took to social media to share a snap of herself and actress Michelle Collins at the event. Following his death, Paul's final wish was finally fulfilled. The late comic is said to have been buried next to his former partner and manager, Brendan Murphy who sadly passed away in 2005. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Facebook, YouTube and Threads.